Hi, I'm Rodney Miller. And I'm Jan Carl. Thanks for choosing to watch this clip from our Small Town Big Deal YouTube channel. For full episodes, go to our website, smalltownbigdeal.com. Now, enjoy the video. <laughs> oh my word. From Navajo tacos to pulled pork nachos, taquito dogs to Southwest cheesesteaks, there's nowhere that taste buds and waistlines are put to the test more than at the 10 ballparks that make up the Cactus League. Peanuts! Plenty of peanuts here! So many people know about the Cactus League, but for those who don't know about it, can you give me just a, a concise description of what it is and why it's so cool? Sure, we have 15 of the 30 Major League Baseball teams that train in Arizona, so they're here from late January through the end of March. The Cactus League began in 1947 when the Cleveland Indians and the New York Giants left Florida and became the first two teams in baseball to make Arizona their official winter home. The fun part about spring training is when everywhere else is cold and, and rainy and snowy, um, it's sunny here and beautiful weather. The beautiful thing for fans today is that all 10 ballparks are within spitting distance of each other in and around Phoenix. Give or take, you can get to every ballpark from one ballpark to another in 45 minutes or less. So it's really pretty here. There's even some farmland here in, inside Phoenix. So what better way to experience the Cactus League than to hit the road, loosen our belts, and over the next 48 hours, pack in as much food, fans, and fun as possible. Oh, this is going to be fun. First stop, Salt River Fields in Scottsdale, home to both the Colorado Rockies and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Hello, baseball fans. Welcome to the show. You're the next contestant on The Price is High. <laughs> what can I do for you? We heard there was something here about, yeah. like, Pig and a potato. So pig and potato is our loaded french fry. It comes with sriracha sauce, bacon, maple dusting, sour cream, and cheddar cheese. Kind of a heart attack waiting to happen. Eat at your own risk. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There you are. It's like a work of art. Yes, it is. OK, Jan. You going to taste? Yeah, go ahead. Is there some kick to that? That's the sriracha in there. Wow. But wait, there's more. You ready for a walk-off waffle? What we got is Popcorn, chicken, hot sauce on it, coleslaw, and blue cheese in a waffle cone. I like all those ingredients. Popcorn, chicken, and coleslaw, and a waffle cone, and some blue cheese. Did you get to the chicken yet? I love the shoot. I like a mess. How did this tradition of competition for all the crazy foods get started? Right, up until about 10 years ago, baseball was still, you know, peanuts, hot dogs, and beer. Right. Uh, and then a revolution really happened to where, where the teams in the stadium started competing with each other to try to see who could outdo the next one and, and what's the freshest item. And, and there became a very vast interest in, in a culinary explosion. I like that. Culinary explosion. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're definitely going to fill you up here in a little bit. I think we're going to have a culinary explosion. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm thinking that this next exit, maybe we can get some antacids. <laughs> Not just yet, though. First, we've got a date with Goodyear Ballpark, home to both Ohio teams, the Cincinnati Reds and the Cleveland Indians. Free entertainment before the game and a food lineup, which is downright dangerous. We have a taquito dog, which is unique to Goodyear Ballpark. What, what is that? It is a foot-long hot dog that's rolled in a flour tortilla, and it's served with queso and guacamole and pico. It's delicious. Good. That's like a taco nacho. Rolled up in one. For the Reds fans, Cincinnati's most famous dish, Skyline Chili, is on the roster. Hmm, I would never have thought of putting cinnamon and chocolate in a chili. Oh, wow. But for real gluttons, and I plead guilty, there's the cheesy changeup. It's a half pound bacon burger between two grilled cheese sandwiches. I don't think I can get my mouth around it. No comment about that. <laughs> that is. More than good. That's like three meals in one. I just really hope my cardiologist is not watching this episode. Okay, so do you have room for just one more thing? Oh, I don't know. Just, just, one, just a pretzel. All right, one pretzel. One pretzel. Split it. Okay, we'll split it. All right, be right back. I'm not feeling so well. I think this pretzel over here. Yeah. One pretzel. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Crazy? Wow. All right, let's play ball. 
Thanks for watching this clip from Small Town Big Deal. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Also, click the like button. To see full episodes, go to www.smalltownbigdeal.com.